what's the contrapositive of a conditional statement? So if I have a conditional statement of this form, P implies Q. So if P, then Q. And I want to write the contrapositive of this conditional statement. Well, think about it as you're combining the converse and the inverse together. So I'm going to take the hypothesis and the conclusion. I'm going to switch them, but I'm also going to negate them as well. So, whatever your conditional statement is, to get the contrapositive, you're going to take the hypothesis and conclusion, switch them, but then you're also going to do, do the negation of each one. So here's my contrapositive. So notice hypothesis, conclusion, you switch them, and you also do the negation of each one. So let's look at an example. So here... If I go to sleep, then it is 8 o'clock. So here my hypothesis is P. It is 8 o'clock is Q. So my hypothesis is I go to sleep. Conclusion, represented by Q, is 8 o'clock. And if I want to do the contrapositive, well, you have to switch the hypothesis with the conclusion, and you're also going to do the negation of each one. And it'll look like this. If it is not 8 o'clock, then I did not go to sleep. So notice in this one, it is not 8 o'clock. Well, that was, I got this from Q. And Q was originally, it is 8 o'clock. That was my conclusion originally. But I took the conclusion, I placed it in where the hypothesis usually goes, and I also made it the negation. So it's 8 o'clock, it's not 8 o'clock. So this is the negation of Q. And then the conclusion now says here, I did not go to sleep. So for the contrapositive, you take the original hypothesis, and it's going to now become the conclusion. But then you also have to do the negation of the hypothesis. So I go to sleep. The negation of that is I did not go to sleep. So since this is my hypothesis is P, the negation of P would be that. So here I have my contrapositive. If it is not 8 o'clock, then I did not go to sleep.